Good afternoon. Welcome to the Open Gate Show for Saturday, May 9th. DK water provides much needed oxygen to the entire body, including our brain. DK water aids in good digestion and helps maintaining a healthy body weight. It doesn't taste flat or boiled. It makes an excellent tasting experience. Located at Two Creek Road, Kingston 6, adjacent to Robertson Avenue, near the Outer Wind and Mountain View stoplight at the National Stadium, call them 876 627 91145 is 876 627 91145 or 876 807 5316. That's 876 807 5316. The website, destinationkingston.com. Check them out. Go relax yourself and spend quality time at Super Bar, 14 Celtic Plaza, Newtown Corner. Hey, it's Clarendon. Easily seen off the main road, just below. A very technical high school going south. Safe, secure, super atmosphere. Courteous staff and, and cuisines cooked to order. Join the movement to be present for the future. See us well as in, located along the bayside to Tolmain Plaza on the back road. Where else to stay overnight, the weekend or a week? The nearest motel to Caymanus Park and has security for your everything. Its reputation speaks for itself. Call or make your reservation. 876-704-6245. That's 876-704-6245. Seafood and other restaurants are very close by. Tomorrow's 11 race card starts approximately 11.35 a.m. And I must tell you, there are is no race book out track and pool and it begs to wonder what next with this race book this is the second time there is a monetary payout of this magnitude and the race book is late anything can happen so let's not blame them but i'm not surprised with this unreliable race book. I'll try to decipher the eleven race card, so bear with me because of limited preparations. Race one has ten starters. It's for it's the main condition race for horses who have not finished second or third. They go six furlongs or twelve hundred meters. Incidentally it's, it's restricted to trails only. Number one, Sergeant Charge, uh, is fitter, looking a little better and should be part of the top five. Number two, Great Wayne, has not shown much, but is looking up a bit since the last race and should be part of the outcome. Number three, Select Me from the stables of Patrick Lynch, hasn't shown much, got some atten a little attention on the board on last. Select me. Well, the name suggests a lot, and I'm sure Rake players will be selecting this one. Number five, number four, Marcus Boy came off a, a, a hiatus and ran well to be second. Should be fitting now. Hot jockey Tevin Foster right. Marcus Boy is expected to fight this out. Number eight, without remorse, has been working well of late and uh, looks to have some speed and in a field such as this maybe you could consider this horse for part of your top selection number four maggie's boy from number one sergeant charge number two great Wayne, number eight without a trace number three select me one of those should win the second race has seven starters it's for five and up optional claiming out of fifty thousand eighty thousand with nearly about six thousand up who haven't won two races as well as Native Red Six years and up, who remains a maiden. They go five and a half or 1100 meters. Number one, Nadzak Princess, uh, frequently raced 10 year old horse, uh, should be able to, to have a say in this race. And recently had a, 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 a win over number three, the next big thing, who's here. Uh, 
another preacher, well, that was some time ago, maybe I think it's about, about three months ago, comes there to see sort of this, um, didn't run all that bad when finishing fourth, now the princess should be considered. Number two, powerful red, 13 year old horse, Robert Haldin rides and run, well, she's consistent enough to really be, to be considered. Fitzgerald Richards has been winning a lot of races with this type and, you know, a credit should go to him. And he's one of the few trainers who, you know, I, I can't understand. They're not getting any horses. Maybe they're not being, they're, they're not going to the sport, the sport clubs and or the area where one can be charismatic and talk a lot and get all these horses. And, you know, a lot of trainers, Howard McLeod, um, Joe Thomas, Philip Elliott, Rowan Matty, um, well, just to name a few, you know, they need horses. And, you know, I don't know, they're very good trainers. Anyway, number three, the next big thing, reclaimed by Connections, who uh, did very well with her. Uh, the Cardenas rides, and surely the next big thing um, should give them top considerations here. Number five, Jamaican Storm, claimed by Philip Lee with expectations, but hasn't shown anything. Number three, the next big thing from number two, powerful red, number one, Nathak Princess, number five, Jamaican Storm for the latter part. Incidentally, number seven, Papa Albert. Uh, has speed going on the wrong course now. Uh, well, some will take this one. Well, some would include this one in, in, their, in their exotics. I'm not, although I'm not sure I'll be buying any, any but anyway. Uh, we go to race number three. It starts off. It's for it's a, for truth and up optional came in 250,000 with neighborhood six year up who hasn't won three races and neighborhood five year olds who are a maiden. 1200 meters or six furlongs. Number one, Mr. Linders, consistent and fit, get the services of, of Anthony Thomas for the leading trainer of in 2022, Jason Acosta. Mr. Linders should have an outstanding chance here. Number two, Smarter Tradition gets Shane Ellis, who scored the last win aboard the, 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 the when the source won. Has been running frequently, um, comes in, in, in a field that he should have a chance to win. Number three, Buckle Lock, another who is fairly consistent and uh, claims the last. Um, comes there fairly light, and another who has to be considered, number six, Bruce Wayne, frequent racer, but always comes back. Well, in the last couple of races that he ran in, he, doesn't, he comes back uncomfortable en route to the unsettling enclosure. Um, should be able to fit with these if it's like old. Number one, Mr. Linders, number two, Smarter Tradition, number three, Buckle Lock, number six, Bruce Wayne. Fourth race goes a mile or 1,600 meters. Eight starters, four trails and up. It's a claiming race, 600 to Number one, the Milkman, inconsistent, but usually shows well when focus, Stephen Foster rides. Number two, Uncle Vinny, stable mate of the Milkman. And incidentally, Dennis Price has three horses here. The other, be number five grader, Uncle Vinny, on his best day, should be able to handle these. But remember, I said on his best day. How physically sound he is, that's the question. Number three, a blood song, usually comes up with a good effort, not a winning one, but an effort behind some good horses where he, he finishes second and third, and even fourth, very light. I should say, by uh, which is not a normal disorder, blood song should have a chance. Number four, Royal Vibes just won the other day, last week, as a matter of fact, and won easy. This 12 year old is, is evergreen. Uh, Ryan Darby knows him well. Quickly back after he, he claimed this one, Omar Walker, he gets the call. Let's see what will happen. Number five, Blood Fire. 
another who has been consistent and um, should be given a chance. Number seven, on the bullet, former grade one horse, um, Patrick Lynch is ever dangerous and you can't discount his horses with, once you see them with a chance. And on the bullet, mm, hasn't raced for a short while. Come, you know, this horse is just coming off a, a short respite. Um, didn't look all that bad when I last seen this one. And if he's okay, he, he will turn this race into procession. Number eight, O'Rourke, claimed by Trina Bower, Bower. And um, should be given some consideration. But I'm still going to number four, Royal Vibes. Just for number three, Blood Song. Number two, Uncle Vinny. Number six, Blood Five. Fifth race. Goes five rounds, one or a thousand meters round. It's for Native Bread Five and Up, who hasn't won three races, and imported Five and Up, who hasn't won two. Eight declared lots of speed in this race. It's a tricky race because most of these horses, they'll show up in the early and flatten out. So be careful. Number one, just an illusion, hails from the barn of Joe Thomas, a good horseman. And Joe Thomas is capable of turning this horse around. Has speed, has to go in front from the inner post. Especially with the cardinals up. So you can expect this one to be leaving the gate flying. He will be accompanied by number two, triple seven, who normally shows speed up to a point in the race and flattens. Number three, Sheer Beauty is up in, in grade. And um, it, may, it may be a minor exotic spot will suit this one. Number four, Jolly's Dream. Can run on if he is right. Claimed by Cashbread Quarrel Singh. Uh, Jolly's Dream. I have to give this some consideration because Cashbread Singh is a man who can get these types to run. And Jolly's Dream will be running on. Number five, XY Soul. Shane Ellis gets the call again. Last, the last time and to a good to a good horse well, well a horse that is considered to be out of class comes back here on the minimum curve trip xy soul looks outstanding seeing that he can sit behind the leaders and pounce number six wife he says so on her best could be a danger i'm not sure this horse of i'm not sure of that that he would, she would be at her best. Number seven, cup of soup. I've been around, not been much. I'm not even really impressed by it because uh, this condition, but it's too light to be ignored. And is another that can sit behind the speed and hope that they all collapse and the race is handed to him. Number eight, Nina Dorado, another with speed and drawn on the outside will be gunning from the gates open, chances are, the Nirada could stay on and be a dangerous animal. Number five, that's why soul. Number eight, Nina Nirada. Number four, Johnny's Dream, just on a hunch. Number one, just an illusion. Number seven, cup of soup. Race six has 10 starters. They'll be going six further, 1200 meters. It's section two of four the main, three or maiden condition. Ray Falls hasn't finished second or third in their lifetime. Number three, Star McCom, one of three entries here for trainer Patrick Lynch. Uh, showed some glimpse of value when last race and has to improve. And is one that I'm sure will get a lot of attention. Number five, potential, another Patrick Lynch horse who, whose potential is not really seen as yet. And you know, in a race such as this, anything can happen. Number six, Eddie 29, has been looking up since la, well, the past two weeks and should be a dangerous horse here. Number nine, AK, AK Storm. AKA Storm, another Patrick Lynch horse. Um, I guess the Cardenas 
and surely it has to get some attention. Number 10, Miss Khaleesi, for those who play the high five, you can have this one in the lower exotics, hoping that she, she breaks. Number six, Eddie 29, number five, Potential, number three, Storm, Storm Come, number 10, Miss Khaleesi, number nine, AKA Storm. Anything can happen in this race. DK water provides much needed oxygen to the entire body, including our brain. DK water aids in good digestion and helps maintaining a healthy body weight. It doesn't taste flat or boiled. It makes an excellent tasting experience. Located at True Creek Road, Kingston 6, adjacent to Robertson Avenue, near the Outer Wind and Mountain View Stop Light at the National Stadium, call them 876 627 91145. That's 876 627 91145 or 876-807-5316, that's 876-807-5316. Their website, Destination Kingston, 876.com. Check it out. Go early and go relax yourself and spend quality time at Superhill Bar, 14 Keswick Plaza, Newton Corner, Hayes Clarendon, easily seen off the main road along the Jamalco pathway. Just at the end of their technical high school. Safe, secure atmosphere, cultural staff and cuisines cooked to order. Join the movement to be present for the future. We come now to race seven, eight declared, and they go 1100 meters or five and a half furlongs. It's for Nader Bird Falls and Up, who hasn't won two races as well as imported four of them, who remains in maiden. Number two, Lady Pajari. Uh, we're showing getting into some form, showing some value. The foreign thought went on a sudden back, lightly trained, very light, and in the field such as this could get a place on the board. Number four, Colorado Ranger worked very well and ran second. I didn't know how, I, I didn't mention it on the, the last open gate show. This horse uh, really worked well and it ran second anyway, such is that, that's, that's history. Colorado Ranger gets hot jockey, Kevin Foster for Gary Griffiths, number six legal opportunity, as Omar Walker remaining again, should be able to compete with these. Number seven, genealogy, uh, imported, well, a US imported horse, who will need some time. Number eight, the good life, should be able to have a good life against these, as uh, he ran okay. And this is another Jason Acosta and Tony Thomas combination that should do very well. Number eight, the good life from number four, Colorado Ranger. Number six, illegal opportunity. Number three, Lady Tejari. Race number eight goes five full of one over 20 meters round. It's for nearly about four of them up. It's a restricted main condition race. Uh, nine, declared. Number two, always vigorous, ran well, closing very fast at long odds to, uh, to lose the race. If it was, a, a, say, another 20 or 30 meters, all the vigorous could give the informed stable of Ruan Mati another win. Good chance here. Number four, Blue Seas. Um, blinkers off, blink, blinkers on, tongue tie on, uh, now the figure eight, Shane Ellis gets back, a lot of confusion, has form, and is the form of the field. Blue Seas could make it blue for the St. George's old boy, Laurie F.S. Number five, six cents, showed some vigor in the last race. The last time it was run, and another here for Rowan Matty. Um, don't like this one to win, but could be part of your top five. Number seven, no surrender. A debutant. <laughs> trained by uh, Mr. Lee Singh, David Lee Singh. Incidentally, I mentioned the other day that uh, Mr. Lee Singh's horse had won. I don't remember his name that he could be made fitter. Actually, it was the wrong horse that I saw, but that is, that is history. Number nine, 
Number eight, rather, the German Cup. From the hail from the stables of Patrick Lynch. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about this horse, but um, it's your choice. Anyway, number two, all is vigorous. So number four, Blue Seas. Number eight, Jungle Cat. Number five, Sixth Avenue. Race number nine goes 1,100 meters or five and a half furlongs. Uh, it's for an bred fours and up. Who hasn't won three races and imported fours and up? Who hasn't won two? Eight declared. Number one, Swedeman. A horse that was born in utero. A very useful horse. Has speed and surely um, has potential. Um, should be able to compete well tomorrow, seeing that Sweet Man is working sweetly. Number five, sensational ending, go up into fine form, uh, have issues, and um, comes here for the combination of Jason Acosta and Anthony Thomas. Um, no, not uh, sorry, Anthony Thomas was, was declared on this horse as, as his second choice, but uh, he has had to ride his first drive to Sweet Man, sensational ending gets Omar Walker. There's nothing to go by except for the form that Jason Acosta is having. Number seven, Old King Cole won't have much speed to chase and could run on and get into the part of your top four. Number seven, Artisha, consistent. Um, cutting back in distance and um, should be able to do okay here. Number eight, King's Magician has been very disappointing. I don't know if the king is waiting on a date to call his magicians in the winner's enclosure. Well, let's see tomorrow. Number one, Sweet Man. Number five, Sensational Ending. Number seven, Artisha. Number six, Old King Cole. He comes to the penultimate race. And this race goes five from straight or a thousand meters straight. So three of them up, open allowance. Six declared. And um, these are open and allowance horses, boy. Number one, Patriarch, comes there with 53 kilos and looks the uh, handicap certainty. He just won beating these horses, going five from from, and is here back uh, with so light, 53 kilos. Number three, Duke, very fit horse, and will be trying to chase God of Love, God of Love has to stop for you to, 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 to overcome this horse with 57 kilos. Number six, got a girl I'm coming off a sergeant, not a sergeant, sorry, a, a, a hiatus, and um, working good. Uh, love the straight and should be competitive. Number one, God of Love, number three, you, number six, got a girl. Come to the final race and the race that has the most starters on the card, 15 starters. They go seven for longer, 1,400 meters, it's four children up. Uh, non restricted overnight, a lowest race. Number one, double diva, seeking a four timer. And this horse has 51 kilos. Looks like a handicap certainty. Double diva working okay and would have to be caught. Number three, money monster. Um, came off a break and not really doing much, but I, I guess this monster will scare you in due time. Number five, Eroy, the class of hair, 57 kilos, the B2 Harvey, his US imported horse, trained by Richard Azan, won and last and will be carried to fight number one, Double Diva. Number eight, Ralph Emanuel, 10 year old, and he's been that shoulder, how versatile he is from sprinting to going to the middle distance. Very fit horse, and his condition, it, it looks remarkable well. Could be part of the top four. Number 11, Curling's Affair, normally runs a good race, could 
get into the high five. Number one, double Devo from number five, Leroy. Number eight, Raf Emmanuel. Number three, Money Monster. Number 11, Curling Affair. DK Water provides much needed oxygen to the entire body, including our brain. DK Water aids in good digestion and helps maintain a healthy body weight. It doesn't taste flat or boiled. It makes an excellent tasting experience. Located at Two Creek Road, Kingston 6, adjacent to Robertson Avenue, near the outer wind and mountain roof stop light at the National Stadium. Call them 876-627-911425, that's 876-627-911425, or 876-807-5316, that's 876-807-5316. Their website, Destination Kingston, 876.com. Make sure you check that website out. Go relax yourself and spend quality time at Super Bar, 14 Keswick Plaza, Newtown Corner, Hayes Clarendon, easily seen off the main road. At the end of the technical high school complex, going south, safe, secure, super atmosphere, courteous staff and cuisine cook to order. Join the movement to make your present for the future. See us right in, located along the bay, bayside toll. Plaza Road, where else to stay overnight, the weekend or a week? The nearest motel to Cambridge Park and have security for your everything. Its reputation speaks for itself. Call and make your reservation. 876-704-6245. That's 876-704-6245. Seafood and other restaurants are close by. Our authorized industry has taken a turn. And, you know, some can only watch and hope. It's very interesting to see the changes that are being made. To suit who? That is the question. We're in a world now where money is the only goal for all, or I should say most, at all costs, things and time must change, and of course, one has to change with the times. But, you know, there are some really puzzling, happen- puzzling happenings uh, with our horse racing industry, of which we can only wait and see what positiveness for the industry. In other words, what upliftment to do. To all those who have invested into local horse racing here in Jamaica, I applaud you. And the sport is good. And the horse racing industry in certain segments will be competitive with those in, in, in this part of the Western Hemisphere, including Florida and some of the tracks in the the United States. We need horses, we need jockeys, we need horsemen, we need grooms, we need trainers. But where is the plan? Where is the creativeness? Where is the the lead? Where is the promotion for all of these? Whither? Where is all everything goes? Of note, please, I'm not against the jurisdictions here. All I'm saying, I hope well for industry. That's my main aim. That's why I created this show. To give back something to local illustration and I hope that it is doing that. Regardless, I've been hearing from others, you know, some really unscrupulous and unwarranted remarks against me. But I'm here and I know where I'm going. God help me. Take care and good luck tomorrow.